Today I'm going to be doing a ROM review on Sensei Mod 602 GB version 2. As the title suggests, this ROM was built on the official Verizon over the air update, Gingerbread version 4.5.602. As you can see, this ROM is very fast and stable. It's fully themed and has a similar look to AOSP Gingerbread with a green and black color scheme. If you decide that you don't like the stock look of the ROM, you can flash compatible themes while you're in Clockwork Recovery. This will change the framework, the status bar, and anything else that the themer has modified. I'll have links for these in the description. If you need more, keep your eyes peeled in the theme section of the forums. The ROM developer, Mobile Sensei, left most of the useful blur elements, such as the blur gallery with HDMI support, while replacing the more intrusive elements, such as the blur launcher. In its place, he put the speedy Super Launcher 2, which was compiled by the developer of Apex. If we hit Menu, then Launcher Options, there's a few preferences to choose from. You can choose the number of apps on the dock, the icon style, and the type of dock background. If you decide that this launcher is not for you though, as always you can install a third party launcher to add a little bit of customization to it. In this ROM he also included performance scripts and tweaks by Jake Bytes and another person whose name I can't pronounce. Because this is a gingerbread 602 based ROM, the biggest selling points for this ROM are the battery life, the speed, and the functionality of some blur elements. Battery life alone is something to rave about in this ROM. This is mostly due to the undervolt that is set automatically when the screen is turned off. I made it through my 8 hour workday with an extra 40% to spare. This was under heavy usage with phone calls, emails, text messaging, some navigation, and even a little YouTube. Mobile Sensei also provided us with a ROM toolbox used to modify extra settings. In here, you'll find settings to manage your ROM backups, app backups, as well as your CPU settings for overclocking and such. You'll have settings for startup scripts, quick commands, transitions, and animations. There's even a tab to change the battery icon. Ever since second inch ROMs have come out with their customizations on the fly, I found it hard to go back to more traditional ROMs for the X such as this. I have to say though, this is one of my favorite ROMs to date due to the amazing battery life, the functional parts of Blur that were kept, and the amazing developer who keeps on giving to this ROM in the form of updates and themes. I'll have a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install this posted shortly after this video. If you're an advanced user, you can download the zip file from the description, pause the video, and follow this quick guide for installation help. If this video helped you, make sure you subscribe so you can check out more step-by-step -step tutorials and ROM reviews.